A very exciting time today uh, in AML and ALL, especially in patients with KTA or NPM1 rearranged disease. When they relapse, they have nothing uh, available and the outcome is very poor. Uh, we're able to understand the physiopathology of the disease and we came up with the main inhibitors. One of them is JNJ6617. And what I showed at ASH is the first human trial. It's a phase one study in 86 patients so who are affected, who failed multiple line of therapy before. Uh, we tested the main inhibitors with uh, optimizing the dose of the drug. And what we've seen so far, around 50% response rate, which is unheard of in patients who failed multiple agents. And so far, we've seen responses being durable 6.5 months and onward, which is quite encouraging. We're still expanding on this till we get the recommended phase two dose, and hopefully after that, expand. Uh, it's the first trial. I think it's a really great start. The drug is effective. And from safety point of view, we've seen what they call differentiation syndrome, which is one of the most common DLTs. However, we're able to mitigate that by going to twice daily dose and step up dosing approach. And that took care of uh, the concerns. And something of great importance, we've seen no QT prolongation except for one case, and usually not so myelosuppressive because patients receiving treatment still not having low count. And in fact, half of the responders are maintaining the remission beyond six months and onward. So very encouraging data. And with this data as well, we have combination trial ongoing with the promising results so far.